and welcome to C is for Crow. Here on the Crate and Acreage, um, behind the Crone Cottage. <laughs> Tired today. Uh, some of you may have seen um, from the previous uh, video, uh, last week I lost my husband. And although it's been very, very hard to deal with, I am uh, keeping my spirits up and working, working on that instead of focusing on the boohoo stuff, uh, only when I need to. Um, and just wanting to carry on the legacy that we, we started together. Uh, C3 stands for uh, Creighton's Custom Creations. I made a decision to not go through all the to tools and things and have a big yard sale at some point, you know, gather them all up, store them in the garage, and then next spring type thing when I'm ready to let go. I decided that I am going to learn stuff. I am a blacksmith's wife, so I decided that I would learn some aspects and see what I can and cannot do. Um, based on my abilities and uh, my arthritis. Um, I think it's a fitting legacy. Um, so yeah, I, I decided to carry on the C3. Um, I will be making a small video for his channel that we just started to let everybody know um, that, you know, I plan on carrying on a bunch of his stuff, um, and uh, that will include video games. Um, he has a ton of them, and so I thought I would learn how to play some of them, decide whether or not I like them before I got rid of them, because I thought that'd be kind of cool. I do like video games. I'm not so much a video game player as, as much of a as a groupie, um, but uh, yeah, I just thought, I just want to carry his legacy forward, you know. I'm not going to do the uh, grieving widow thing any more than I could handle doing the dutiful wife thing, so I decided that I just, I'm going to be me, and there are things to get excited about. My brother will be coming for a visit. He won't be in here in time for the funeral, which is next week. Um, but uh, he's coming up at the end of the month and I get to have him for Thanksgiving. So that's very, very cool. I have not seen my brother in over nine years, it seems. It looks like nine years that the last time I've seen my brother, so that's cool. Um, you know, all things, um, aside, um, with what happened, you know, I love my husband very much and he wouldn't want me to be sad every single day. He would want me to finish my projects that I started. He would want me to carry forth with things that we talked about. He wouldn't want me to do some of the things I'm about to do because, you know, I want to get rid of the grass. So I'm going to do so. There will be patches of grass, but it'll be knocked down to what I can handle. And then the rest of it's going to just go bye bye. I want to put flowers. I like gardening. I'm, um, his uncle used to call me. Farmer Ray. So, so, just watching my kitty get spooked. I made it so he can't get underneath the camper, which is no longer going to be the Crone Cottage. Um, the house is the Crone Cottage uh, now. Um, 
So I'll be in the process of sorting all that out. I just felt the need to come out and do a video because I, I need normalcy. You know, it's nice to have every people everybody say, oh, I'm so sorry and, you know, for your loss and stuff. But you, you can get caught up in it and then you live there and then it makes you sad and then you get depressed. And, 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 so I'm not that kind of person. I work very hard to keep the mood level um, so that I'm not sad all the time because I get too sad and uh, I fall to the dark place. So, um, and I'd much rather be happy. Happy is good. You know, happy is this really good place. Um, so, on that note, I have some happy mail that I thought a while ago was going to make me really really sad when I we were um, when I was dealing first dealing with him uh, in the end there I thought oh my god his Christmas presents coming and I'd gone on Vistaprint and I had made him something for Christmas and I went oh my god now what do I do you know but when I moved into the land of acceptance and I said my final goodbyes where I uh, told him I loved him and that I forgive him, etc. And freaking mosquitoes. <sighs> that is the beautiful part of fall coming and the colder weather is pretty quickly those little is will go away. It's pretty buggy here. <laughs> but anyways, um, back to him. So I said my goodbyes. I said thank you for what you've given me and yes I forgive you and you know I don't hate you and go fishing. You know go catch some big fish. Um, we love to love to fish. So his funeral has a bit of a fishing theme. I, um, but anyways, I made his Christmas present, and in this box from Vistaprint is the stuff that I ordered. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> it's the stuff that I ordered prior to him, to all this craziness happening. And it's not that I don't appreciate everybody's well wishes and everything, but yeah, at some point, the silence will be golden. <laughs> Okay, so I will start with his Christmas present. I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm so tired, I feel like so okay, Let's make some noises. Guys like to make noises. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's pretty decent. It's floppy. But this is a mouse pad from Vistaprint that I had done up to help inspire him on his uh, journey to try and build C3, blacksmithing and crafting, here on YouTube, and the business at home. So you can see the C3 there. And a uh, couple pictures, our wedding picture up there, a picture of him and I that was taken last winter. Um, some fishing pictures, and that's a sword that he, a knife that he made, and then, okay, I could never sell this because I, I got this off Facebook, a meme off Facebook, and what it says on it, to that one soul reading this, I know you're tired, you're fed up, you're so close to breaking, but there's strength within you, even when you feel weak, you've come too far to give up now, keep fighting, and it has a, a Viking Thing, guy on there and he really really liked it um, I can see why they wanted to make sure the pictures weren't blurry because they they use a very sort of subdued I love this picture of him and that's my favorite picture of him and then there's us on our wedding day um, but it's got a very fabric quality to it so, and that's kind of cool kind of cool so I'm keeping the mouse pad for myself uh, so 
as a remembrance of my husband and who I thought he could be, you know, and who I knew he was and all that kind of wonderful stuff. And just so that, you know, keep pieces of him around the house. Um, I've been listening to a lot of music uh, that reminds me of him. Um, our funeral home does uh, picture montages and uh, I picked the song The Story of Us. It's originally done by One Direction but I chose the piano guys. Ah, mosquitoes. Their version. Um, I will put the link in there so you can see um, why I chose the music. It was just very him. Very dirty him. So anyways, that was bad. Um, we managed to get out to a place called Arm Lake near here. And I took a whole bunch of pictures. And so I have bookmarks now. And that's what a choke cherry looks like. If I can stop shaking. There we go. Hopefully, there we go. So I have this as a bookmark. They're really kind of cruel. Um, Oh. Itchy, 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 itchy. I'm, I'm trying to set up different things for um, for me to show off for sale on, on the photography side of things. Um, there's so many people who crochet and knit that uh, I'm not sure I could actually build enough of a market for that. Um, one other thing that I ordered um, was some See is for grown labels. Uh, you might be getting some reflection from that, but see is for grown labels um, with a business home phone number on them. Um, so I can stick them on the th things like the back of calendars and stuff where there might be two. Um, smooth to put my stamp. I have a stamp as some of you may have seen in previous videos. Um, and so um, rather than waiting a thousand hours to um, have that dry on a slick surface, I decided to make labels. And I'm testing out all sorts of stuff on Vistaprint. Um, I'm loving their reseller program. So, so the other thing I did, um, I don't know how well this is going to show up there, but yes, um, it's a very subdued again with the pictures on it. It's not quite as vibrant as the t-shirts, but I, uh, it's a canvas bag, and from what I can tell, it's a stir it's a decent canvas bag. It's not heavy by any stretch of the imagination, but it was cool seeing my picture, you know. I'm starting to really work on labels and logos. I think that's really kind of cool. So, and then it has a picture of knitting, crochet, the main picture that I used, and that beautiful black and white picture right there, right there. Uh, on it. And uh, two handles, looks like a lot of room in it, you know, in it to like put stuff. It would be a great craft project bag. Uh, if you know how to put snaps on, I don't think it'd be that hard to put s some snaps on. It's a, a lighter sort of canvas material, so potentially it could be worked on a sewing machine if you knew what you were doing. I unfortunately have lost the sewer in the family. Um, I don't know what it is with me and sewing machines. I really, really don't. Just There is just this angst between me and sewing machines. I touch them and they go, the tension goes screwy. 
And I'm not sure why, because even when I don't do the whole lead foot thing, I end up still doing that. Okay, okay. just had a bit of a chit chat with the neighbor about yard stuff, weeds, etc. And plans for the 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 acreage. Um, the plan for the acreage is to put in the gardens and stuff that I want to have so that uh, I don't have to deal with grass. Grass is nice, you know, but in a lot of ways, um, as much as gardening, ha there's a lot of maintenance with gardening because you got to water and weed and all that. Where it went in places where it's wet, grass grows. And so I just want to not have something that I have to um, deal with all the time. So I'm going to pause this because Simon wants to be with mom. Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's Simon. There's the Simon. Ugh. Mommy's big boy. You wave hi to everybody. <laughs> and uh, so, yes, that's Simon. <laughs> Much happier now. The mom's over here. Don't knock the camera over. <laughs> yeah, there's my boy. There's my boy. Um. But anyways, yes, uh, so lots of plans for my future, just trying to live there instead of in the pain of loss. Oh, you're so silly. You're so silly. Mr. Roly, 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 Roly. There we go. Uh, I want to celebrate his life and what he meant to me rather than um, focus on his passing. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. So, this is going. The house became, is, is the Chrome Cottage. Yard is going. Gardens are coming in. Hopefully I can get the choke cherry bushes to grow. And I put them in the right spot in the front yard. Um, so that um, there goes the train um, so that I can uh, make life a little easier because in you know not too distant future if, if all of those plants grow and they do what I need it to do then I won't have to travel to go get choke cherries because that choke cherry syrup is amazing um, I'm modifying the recipe, and I'm going to do a couple of things, because I thought chow cherries and blueberries would go together really nice. What you doing, Simon? What you doing? Leaf? Leaf? Do with the leaf? <laughs> um, and I'm really liking the whole dehydrating end of things. I've been de dehydrating um, some edible stuff. Um, I'm building... I'm bringing plants in for the winter, so um, I'm going to see if I can grow stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I don't know if the stuff will grow inside properly. There's potential for overwatering, and it's too dry, and not the right atmosphere, and things like that. So, um, but yes. So there's going to be a lots of evolution for seas for Crone. Um, learning how to use tools so that I can do some of the projects that I was planning on doing with him but wasn't able to do uh, because he just wasn't in the right spot to do it. Uh, focus, focus. Um, where are you going? Oh, there you are. <laughs> There's Simon. Um, Chrome cat's up here, too, on the picnic table. Now there she is. There she is. There's the crown cat way in the back. Um, you know, and 
with him with the with dialysis and everything. Um, Alley oops, cat. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a lot of time spent in the house doing proper house work so now um, everything is going to get a little bit quieter my brother is coming at the end of the month I may have mentioned it earlier in the video I'm really excited about that um, there's potential for him to help me with a few smaller things that we were planning on Kirk and I were planning on doing um, yeah, and so we, I just look forward to this forward momentum, momentum that C is for Crone is taking, so that, uh, you know, I don't live in this place where life sucks all the time, because that sucks. No. And just, you know, I want to sit back and, if the mosquitoes will ever, ever let me sit back and relax and enjoy more evenings like this, you know? Because that's cool. So. Yeah, so make sure you check out that video, the story of us, the story. This is the story of me, I think. Uh, the story of my life video. I'm going to include the link for in here on YouTube by the Piano Guys. Um, it's just a very, very beautiful piece of music. Um, no, don't eat a stick. Don't eat a stick. <laughs> don't eat a stick. <laughs> oh, purr, purr. Oh, yeah. See, that's why you don't eat sticks. <laughs> ah, bites, bites. Oh, you're dirty. <laughs> Dirty boy. That's my dirty boy. My little man. Bite, bite, bite. Little man. Poke, poke. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Squirt. That's my Squirt. My little man. Yeah, that's my big boy. That's my big boy. Yeah, that's a big boy. Well, this is so they don't wander around the neighbor causing problems. They don't get attacked by dogs. They don't get attacked by coyotes. They, um, uh, there's an owl that patrols the neighborhood. And so they don't, you know, don't run into that. They don't get hit by cars. You know, they're my kids. Did you eat it? Don't eat the stick. Don't eat the stick. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Hi, Mr. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Ah. Mr. Ah. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Ah. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, so that's it for this um, episode of C is for Crone. I just thought I would touch base and show off my happy mail and let you guys know what's going on with me and that. Uh, why are you digging in the grass? Um, uh, and just let you know that I'm okay. Um, C is for Crone is continuing. C is, C3 is continuing. It's just taking a different direction. Um, and we'll be on my page, on my channel, as I learn things in this audio. I will try and videotape as much as I possibly can, because the outtakes on that's going to be absolutely, should be hilarious. <laughs> like, I think watching me 
play video games is going to be far more hilarious than seeing a video where I have gas and make a face. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time on C is for Crown. And don't forget to check out the other playlists. Um, I'll be having stuff hopefully in the future for that too. Um, I finished a shawl with a pattern that was free and I'll include a link to the video when I do that. And I'm still working on that knitted <laughs> shawl. Uh, there's still the afghan that needs to be doing. Christmas is coming. Um, as mom would say, Christmas is a coming and the goose is getting fat. Please to put a penny in the old man's hat. If you haven't got a penny, then a half penny will do. If you haven't got a half penny, then God bless you. So, blessings from the universe. Lots of love from the crone to you. And have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you guys later. And <laughs> bye from Simon. <laughs>